this video, we are going to highlight how to use Adobe Substance 3D Materials in Rhino 7 using the Substance Importer plugin version 2.02. .02. This plugin is available for free in the Rhino Package Manager and allows you to import and tweak Substance Parametric Materials, which are in the SBSAR file format, directly into Rhino as physically based materials. Substance 3D materials can be created from scratch in Substance 3D Designer if you want them to be parametric, or from pictures or scans in Substance 3D Sampler, or downloaded directly from the Adobe Substance 3D Asset Library. This library contains a free asset selection and thousands of assets with infinite parameters that can be imported directly into Rhino 7, with collections dedicated to ArchViz and interior design. Here, we will download this nice coastline flat stone wall material. Now we can go in the material library, press plus, go on substance, and import this substance material or SBSAR file into our Rhino material library. Once imported, the first thing you can see are the presets of the imported substance 3D material. Presets are pre-saved variations of a given substance material, we can now directly drag and drop this new material on the wall. Let's adjust the displacement multiplier for something that will fit in a better way with the scale of this project. We can easily change any parameters embedded into the substance 3D material to change the look of the material applied in the scene and the variations will be displayed directly in the Rhino viewer. For example, let's change the color to something brighter. We can also increase the normal intensity to get more details. Once we're happy with the result and done with the wall, we can have a look at the floor. Here we imported this oakwood parquet from the Adobe Substance 3D Assets library, and again we will just have to drag and drop it into our Rhino scene and apply variations to the material until achieving the desired result in our scene. Don't forget that we can choose between the available presets, in this case, the presets define the way the wood has been cut. After selecting the desired preset, we can again play with other parameters, and so let's change the color for something less saturated here. We can also change the number of patterns, let's apply a lower value here. Or let's increase the parquet tile factor to get something smaller. You can keep tweaking, the possibilities are really endless. Finally, once we achieved the desired result, we can jump into ray trace mode to render and pre-visualize our scene and really get the best look for our substance materials in Rhino. And so this concludes the tutorial. We hope it was useful and that you'll enjoy using the plugin.